Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great as always, and I'm back here today with some special news, uh, some special information and everything else that I'd like to share with you as always. <clears throat> uh, the main topic of today is, it's kind of like just building on top of the lessons and everything else we've gone through the last few days. I mean, like, just essentially it has been transforming me or even like the whole concept of this podcast has been rather transforming or like building on top of like just sharing the experience that I experience every single day and just like kind of sharing the journey of building actually even something on myself um, in terms of achieving like many things. I'm not sure where to start today. Um, maybe like the, the biggest factor here that I'd like to, to, to um, kind of express is that um, yeah, like the last few days, kind of a bit, bit of a set, bit of a few setbacks here and there. Um, but that's like the thing, like just essentially boiling everything down to its purest essence. Like, like there will be bad things happening in the in the future. Like, it's just a matter of when f- things go go worse. That's even the saying of of Ray Dalio, who is one of the um, biggest financial entrepreneurs. He owns one of the biggest hedge, hedge funds in the U.S., uh, in the world, let's say. And, and truly, these were even his words. I, I grasped it in a very short short uh, picture today. And it's really true. Like, if you just make the timeline long enough, like, bad things will happen. And that's all right. At the end of the day, like, just kind of being even grateful for a lot of things you have. Like, there are many places where there's a lot of war and... You just even can't go outside because, um, or even like, let's say Ukraine and, and Russians, like people who didn't do anything are conscripted into military and are sent on f- to fight in, in trenches. Like, okay, great. Um, <laughs> is is your work, is your nine to five still feeling that bad or would you rather be stuck in trenches? throwing grenades and, and shooting with a rifle like oh, and being shot at, like that's even the better part. Uh, artillery and other other rifles it's just uh hedging bullets yeah um in, in terms of like reflecting on everything i guess it, it, you can like just slowly find your way and saying no to certain opportunities is very important at a certain level even today i kind of made a decision that um I feel that I'll f- will fully divest from certain opportunities that I'm currently working on, just to be able to focus on different kind of opportunities that'll be coming very soon. And that's about it. Like just kind of making decisions that will have consequences further down on, and then just kind of even being okay with them. And, and in terms of doing business and like just doing, achieving something for the reason of feeling good, I'm I'm not sure if that's the best way how to, to go about that. Like whenever I just went for a certain achievement in my life, like that was usually like the great feeling at the end isn't usually that mesmerizing at all. It's just like, okay, whatever else. It's kind of like more of a built your identity that you, okay, you're satisfied, you feel great. For example, for myself, I did 4.0 this semester in terms of the grades that I had, the past semester, which was my goal. And I was like, okay, great. Um, I, I don't care twice. Like literally, I don't care twice. I've invested so much hours into that, but I don't care twice. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like very interesting just to observe that, that you just go bust through certain limits that you have and then just get, get back to square one and even just trying to figure out the reason why you're doing stuff. One thing is that I, I kind of like starting to feel um, a bit lonely, but that's that's completely normal in terms of like just achievement and stuff. There are moments where you can like really feel lonely in terms of like, I'm for example, I miss my just... Um, like my family, my t- entire family, which I didn't see for a pretty long time. And even when I saw them, like on Christmas, I was pretty much like, okay, we spent four hours to the- together. Then I had to go back to work. And at 4 a.m. in the morning, I had to get back up because I-, I was traveling back back here to Vienna. And since then, I- then I pretty much didn't see them at all. Even hear them, like majority of them. Um, 
that like just literally trying to focus everything on the on the main thing that I want to achieve. And the biggest factor here right now is that I'm just like kind of becoming more and more conscious about that. Like it's very important to just do things with intentions and not kind of like like okay, go for the kill right away from a certain point of view. Like just don't delay your returns to like the next five years whatever else you just have to go for the kill right away and that's very important kind of get, getting getting acquainted about that though so yeah today made made a few decisions just strategic more of a high level day for me at least just really thinking the strategy about how i'm gonna tackle a few things and up kind of coming few weeks and that's it like just kind of rolling with that uh In terms of like starting with entrepreneurship and stuff like that, it's just like you just have to become good at something and you become good at something by doing it more. So the more energy you invest into education as well as practical application, the better you get, the better of a perspective you have. That's it. Like you just have to freaking do more. And the more you do, the better you get. And the better you get, the higher level opportunities you will be able to tackle. And that's it. Nothing else, nothing more. Yeah, um, <laughs> kind of longer pause here. Um, kind of getting, uh, yeah, yeah, um, getting a bit exhausted, I guess. Cool. Um, f- for today, uh, that should be it. I'm not sure what else I would share with you in terms of time investment and everything else. Um, as I previously um, explained in a previous episodes, it, it's kind of like just even like right now, my main focus is just trying to find the right balance between learning and doing at the end of the day, doing is way more important, but at the same time, when you just, like, I would say, like, the biggest impact in terms of learning is just, okay, you're just kind of collecting the right tools and the right methods and creating a right map in terms of how you view the world. And once you have that, then you're able to, in terms of, like, just have different hypotheses based on, like, what things you think could work and what things might not work. And based on that, you're able to go into action and actually apply that. So I really feel that, even, like, for now, a majority of my free time is still devoted into education in terms of like right now February I just really focused in on a few few selected topics and that's pretty much it yeah, so just kind of like keep keep working on the stuff um and don't be impatient it, it usually takes a few months even a few years just to prove a concept and then go and roll with that That's about it. So, wish you a great day, evening, morning, whenever you're listening to this episode, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Catch you.